hey guys welcome back to my new video first of all i would like to thank my subscriber viewers who have liked my video supported me by subscribing if you are new to this channel please do like and subscribe to my channel so that i can come up with new videos this video is really special and interesting because most of our researchers work hard and generate data but they are unable to choose a suitable journal and they land up in frustration by following these five simple tips you can easily find a suitable journal so choose the best leave the rest the motto of this video is choose the best leave the rest so moving on to my content of this video so if you want to choose a perfect journal for your researcher data there are certain factors which you need to take into consideration such as impact factor you need to gauge what kind of impact factor does your data can be targeted second the type of publishers what you want to target third very important you need to check whether the selected journal is having or imposing any article processing fees onto the authors next comes indexing pattern wherein you see where this journal is being indexed such as pubmed web of science science direct etc also just look into the frequency whether it is monthly bimonthly or quarterly or annually and finally very important the review process of the journal i will also like to show you what is meant by review process in this video so with just less than 10 minutes we will be able to choose the best journal where you can target and get published your data in some of the reputed high ranked journals these tips enables you to increase your acceptance rate of your research article further it also boost your citation it not only influences to target the suitable journal but also boost your citation score watch the video till the end for on screen demonstration tips but before moving on to the content i request you all to like subscribe to my channel phdns so tip number 1 just google it or search online whether the similar kind of study has been published recently for example if you are working on antimicrobial activity of boyaki metabolites from marine source what you need to do is just copy this title and open your search engine just place and here you need to just include 2019 you can see different articles recently being published for example here you can see the article which has been recently published by martin also you can see marine drugs special issue here you can see the impact factor of this journal and when is yes it has been published recently in 9th of april 2019 this month so <clears throat> similar way what you can do you can also add Springer, if you want to add a publisher name. So here you can see a recent uh, article has been published in Springer Journal. For example, International Aquatic Research has been published in 2019 March. Similarly, here you can see it has been published in May 2019. So. you can just imagine that these journal 
for example tree biotech international aquatic research also marine drug and frontier in microbiology are accepting articles related to your area of interest which means you can also target these journals further if you are looking for how to write plagiarism free manuscript abstract writing manuscript drafting or how to write a title for your research article please do watch my previous videos so tip number 2 here you can use online tools available by most of the publishers for example elsewhere let us go on to this link this link i will be providing in description box so let us paste this journals which are accepting related study for example annals of clinical microbiology and antimicrobials 
Journal of Pharmaceutical Innovation. It also provides the impact factor, acceptance rate, and very important, you need to be very careful with the first decision, which means whenever you have submitted your manuscript and it takes the time for review and gives the first decision right from the submission till your first decision whether it is accepted whether it is requested for major revision minor revision or whether it is rejected the average days according to the one year stats also choose wisely based on the acceptance rate if the journal is having high acceptance rate then please do target if it is having lower acceptance rate then which means that they are very specific to the limited interest so tip number three search for call for special issues which means you need to see if there is any open call for special issues more in most cases the journals call for a special issue in a particular area of interest or or on a particular topic how to get this notification you need to subscribe to these um, journals or these publishers also what you can do is you can just keep searching online for example special issue call for papers 2019 if you if you want you can add the publisher name and if you go you can see different ongoing calls by these publishers elsewhere is having so many ongoing calls for submission in a spe special issue further you have high chances of your manuscript getting accepted in special issues so be aware of ongoing calls on special issues so moving on to tip number four search for launch of new journals most of the publishers are trying to launch new journals for example elsewhere springer rsc these publishers keep updating their journal list by launching a new journal here you can see springer launches a new journal in ophthalmology And here you can see the upcoming journal's title. And these new journals are set to have high frequency of accepting articles. If it is related to your area or scientific study, then you can target these journals and these journal might not have impact factor but publishing under a reputed banner or reputed publisher definitely it will boost your citation score it will increase your chances of getting more recognition also in future these journal will get impact factor let us see tip number five contact editorial board member in most cases if you are in a dilemma of whether to target a particular journal or not it's better to just contact the editor or editorial board member by sending your title and abstract and asking them whether your manuscript falls under the aims and scope of the journal whether the journal is accepting such related articles in most of the cases they honestly reply yes or no if it is yes then you can easily proceed with their 
submission process. With this, I would like to end my video. I hope these tips will benefit, especially for the beginners who are searching for suitable journal. At the end, I would like to request you all to please do like, support my channel so that I can come up with new videos on research related topics. Thanks for watching. Let me sign off now and come up with new content. Bye.